In this segment, we're going to derive the formula for polynomial regression. So the statement of the problem is uh, as follows, that you are given n data points, let's suppose x1, y sub 1, all the way up to x and y n. So you're given these n data pairs. And what you want to do is you want to best fit based on least squares uh, assumption. You want to best fit y is equal to uh, a0 plus a1x uh, plus all the way up to am x raised for m uh, to the data. And of course, uh, m plus uh, m has to be uh, less than n minus, less than equal to n minus 1, of course, because otherwise um, you won't be able to fit, uh, fit a polynomial to it. So when m is exactly equal to n minus 1, then we know that this particular uh, regression polynomial which you are trying to best fit will go through all the data points. And in that case, that will be interpolation then. So uh, rather than showing you the uh, showing you the derivation for a general mth order polynomial going through n data points or best fitting uh, n data points, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a second order polynomial so as to keep the algebra simple, and then you can extend the same uh, concept to any order polynomial, it's a third order polynomial, fourth order or mth order polynomial, uh, which you might want to do. So let's suppose uh, I re redo uh, restate the problem. So let's suppose somebody says, hey, given x1, y1, uh, all the way up to xn, yn. So somebody's giving me n data points. Uh, somebody says, hey, best fit uh, y is equal to um, uh, a0 plus a1x plus a2x square uh, to the data. And of course, I'm assuming that n is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to three. Uh, so the number of data points which are given to me is should be at least three in order to be able to do the best fit. And of course, when n is exactly equal to three, the second order polynomial will go through the three data points. So n has to be n has to be uh, greater than or equal to three. So let's go and uh, see that how we go about doing this regression here. Uh, so if I look at it from a graphical point of view. Uh, what somebody is doing is somebody is giving me n data points. So let's suppose somebody is giving me n data points here. And what they want me to do is they want me to regress uh, a second order polynomial through those n data points. So let's go and find out how we can find this. Um, so we go back to the definition of the sum of the square of the residuals. The sum of the square of the residuals means that what is the difference between the observed value and the predicted value? So if you look at, uh, if you look at uh, the predicted value, which is y sub i, and a particular value of x sub i, which is given to me, the predicted value is y sub i. And uh, the observed value will be whatever I get from the polynomial at that particular point x sub i. So it will be a1 x sub i plus a2 x sub i square. That's what I will get uh, there. So this is the observed value. This is the predicted value. And uh, I'm going to, this is, so that gives me the residual. So that's the difference. The difference between the observed value and the predictive value at a particular point is the residual at that particular point. And I'm going to square the residual. And then I'm going to take all those residuals and I'm going to add them up for all the end data points which are given to me. That's how I'm going to calculate my sum of the square of the residuals. So I'm going to expand it a little bit. Uh, so i is going to 1 to n. I get y sub i minus a0 minus a1 x of i minus a2 x of i square whole square. So that's what I get as the sum of the square of the residuals. Now what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to minimize this summation to as small a number as possible. Of course I know that the number is uh, positive because I'm squaring all the residuals. And I want to make it as small as possible. So I'm going to use my differential calculus knowledge to do that. And I know that the things which I can change in order to make this summation to be as small as possible is to, I can change A0, I can change A1, I can change A2, or these are the choices which I have to be able to minimize uh, this summation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of the sum of the square of the residuals with respect to A0, put that equal to 0, take the uh, partial derivative of the sum of the square of the residuals with respect to A1, put that equal to 0, take the partial derivative with respect to A2, 
and put that equal to 0. And what's going to happen is that uh, these uh, three equations now are going to give me three equations and three unknowns. So when they give me three equations and three unknowns, I should be able to solve then for A0, A1, and A2. And that's the whole idea about this. Again, keep in mind this is only gives me a local maxima or a minima. Uh, I'm not going to show you the proof for why this will, whatever the values of A0, A1, and A2 will turn out to be, that they correspond to local minima, so that it is minimizing actually this value of SR. That's beyond the scope of this uh, particular course. But anyway, so let's go and set up these three equations. So I got uh, uh, del SR by del A0 will be summation i is equal to 1 to n. So this is this square, so it will be 2 times y sub i minus a0 minus a1 x sub i minus a2 x sub i square times minus 1, because then it will be it's 2 times, uh, 2 times whatever is in here, uh, times the derivative of this respect to a0, which is simply uh, minus 1. And that is equal to 0. That's because that's from this equation. So same here, uh, I'll take the partial derivative with respect to a1. I get summation i is equal to 1 to n, uh, 2 times y sub i minus a0 minus a1 x sub i minus a2 x sub i square times uh, the derivative of this quantity, derivative of this quantity with respect to a1, which is simply minus x sub i. And that I need to put equal to 0. And then the last equation will result from taking the partial derivative of the sum of the square of the residuals with respect to a, a sub 2. And that will be summation of i is equal to 1 to n, uh, 2 times y sub i minus a0 minus a1 xi minus a2 x sub i square uh, times minus x sub i square equal to 0. So that's uh, because, again, it is 2 times whatever is in the in the parenthesis here, times the derivative of this quantity here, respect to a2, which is simply minus, minus here, and then with respect to a2 is just minus xi squared. So what I need to do now is to expand uh, these uh, summations, not expand these summations, but to write individual summations so that I can set this up in the equation form. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, 